Spotlight. Today I'm here with Jace, a third year mechanical engineering student here at Tech and the proud owner of this DMC DeLorean. Would you like to talk about the car? Jace? Sure. So this is my 1981 DeLorean that I've had for about two years. Um, before I got it, I sat for about 20 years in a garage and I was in really bad condition. I've spent the last two years restoring it back to original specifications. Oh, I have to close it really tight. Yeah, harder. Uh, Door handle right here. Oh, yep. God. Gotta close it tighter. There you go. Yeah, the 81s don't have good doors. I gotta say, um, feels very 80s in here. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. You yeah. Got, you got the. Uh, very 80s feel to the instrument cluster yeah, here. Yeah, I like how this little bezel always kind of comes off. It just kind of nudge it back on there. Yeah, yeah I definitely say the uh, the keyword here is quirky, and I think that's Oh, great. yeah, for sure. For sure. That's that's really what this car is inside and out. Can you tell me a little bit about the designer. So that is, uh, so that's uh, Giorgetto Giorgio, and he was the guy that, dis that pinned the uh, overall exterior of the car. And he, he designed the car to look like it was folded out of paper to kind of give an essence of it being light. Sometimes I wish I could go back to the 80s. In fact, yeah. I was I was thinking about this the other day. I was looking at the hairstyles and the music and I, I, for some reason I had more of an appreciation for it. Maybe it's because I knew I was going to have a cool ride in this car and <laughs> yeah. really experience the 80s to its fullest. But, this is um, definitely the 80s car. The 80s car, the quintessential, yeah. Yeah. Um, back to the future, mm -hmm. cult classic, oh, yeah. cult classic 80s film. I love it. It's not a flashy car. It doesn't have chrome, and, you know, big rims and that kind of stuff. It's very simple looking, but yet it's still somewhat elegant. They're called toll booth windows. They are. So they're called toll booth windows, and why are those a thing? You couldn't physically get this entire window if this were one piece of glass. It would not fit in the door. It would, you know, it would stick out of the door because this glass is so big and the, the shape of the car is so steep. And so the way they kind of went around that was with this toll booth. And so just this, just this goes down to the door. This is fixed. How long did you spend restoring this? This is, I, I understand mm -hmm. you completely redid the interior. Yes. Um, all, all the seats, everything mm -hmm. was was pretty much. Yeah. Completely um, rotted out, correct? Yep, it was all falling apart, full of cracks and everything. But it took me about a year and a half to get to the point where it is now. It's it's about ninety percent done. I still have some problems here and there. Uh, mostly with, again, the fuel injection system I was talking about. It, it's a little finicky. Um, at some point, I'm planning on converting it to EFI, you know, electronic fuel injection like a modern car has, where the injectors do turn on and off when they, uh, when the, you know, the cylinder doesn't, doesn't need the fuel. Mm -hmm. And so, hopefully that'll modernize it, you know, make it a little bit more reliable. Well, thank you so much, Jace. I had a You're really, really good time in this car. It's a cl cult classic mm -hmm. 80s car from the cult classic 80s film, Back to the Future, one of my favorite movies of all oh, time yeah. for sure. 